What is up everyone? This is Absolute Zero here and welcome to a new series, Super Meat Boy. So, uh, the reason I am doing this game is because one, some of you have actually asked for this game, which is crazy. For me anyway, because I'm not used to being asking for games that, you know, I've already thankfully played, but really love and would love to play again. So now I get the chance to play it for you guys. And this time, as some of you know the story, I'm going to 100% this game because I have not done it before. And that is a mission for this series. But for the most part, I have played most of it. So yeah, I pretty much know a lot of it. It's just at the very end where I have to get everything. So, thank you all for joining me on this new series of mine. Let's get right into it. I don't know how long each episode is going to be, so I'm pretty much doing it by ear or, you know, going on the fly. And there is the, uh, <laughs> a lot of parodies of other games. This one is obviously of Street Fighter 2. Uh, you guys can look up the scene for that one if you want, the intro scene. It's, it's so funny. Anyway, uh, alright, so the first world, the forest. Nothing too complicated. For those of you who don't know, Super Meat Boy is a um, indie game that was developed by Team Meat, and it's pretty much a platformer that's just around. It, it just uh, revolves around saving Bandage Girl. You you're playing as Meat Boy, I should say first, of course, and that's pretty much it. There's <laughs> not much more to the story than that. You're saving Bandage Girl from. What, his name is Dr. Fetus, I think? He's he's literally a fetus inside a chamber thing, I think. And yeah, he's where he, he wears a monocle, so he's like a gentleman, but he's an evil gentleman, if that makes sense, I guess. I didn't know how else to describe him, but okay. Anyway, Super Meat Boy platformer game, which is supposed to be really hard. It's known to be hard. Uh, to a lot of people, and I don't blame them because this game gets ridiculously hard. I just make it look easy right now. I, uh, it will become very apparent that I am not the master at this game, as some people have said I am, but I am not. You will see later that this game gets super ridiculous. Right now, the first world is, which by the way, I may add, is done very well for an indie game. Uh, for an indie game, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that the first world is usually like a tutorial thing or whatever, right? And this game does a superb job at it. You know you can run, you know you can jump pretty damn far, you run really fast, and you can wall jump! And you can wall jump really fast. Uh, fun fact about this level, I'm gonna show you a bit, actually. Um, yeah, it's like a speedrunning type of game, so you want to get to your goal as fast as you can. But there's not... There's not always just one way of doing everything, as... Let me... Let me show you in that previous map. I took the long way around, but... This is a little thing I like to show everyone. You could actually save yourself, like, five seconds by going around this saw, just jumping up there. But only if you do it right, you know? Because that... That's actually not that easy to... I almost did it that time. I want to do this! I really want to do this! It'll get that frustrating later on, like you'll have to- Oh, there you go! There! I did the level in like less than three seconds, I think. Oh, and a cool thing, cool feature of this game, well, two seconds and a half. You get to see the replays of every single try you did, so you get to see where you died each and every single time. That's really cool! I think it's really cool. You can even save those replays for, you know, really funny moments. Oh my god. And to all of you who are have who have already played this game and have noticed that I'm not entering any of the secret levels and I'm not getting any advantages, that's because I've decided I'm going to do that later on. I'm going to save that all for like an episode later. For now, I just want to do the main levels and, you know, advance as far as I can kind of thing. And I will dedicate like one or two episodes to getting all the secrets in the game. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how, I, I, I don't know what the proper way of doing this, uh, series is. I just kind of went in, just kind of wanting to have fun with it, because I'm allowed to have fun, right? After all the pain I'm enduring with, like, uh, heart-wrenching moments in Undertale and all the ridiculous levels in Super Mario Maker, I des- Ah! I, I, I think I deserve some good feels time. Good feels time. And this is a very good feels for, uh, me anyway, because... I don't know. It's nice and relaxing at first. Sure, it'll get frustrating later, but 
I totally don't mind. This is an awesome game, and if you haven't played this game yet, I think you guys need to check it out. It's on Steam. Definitely, if you don't have the money for it, get it while it's on sale. It can go as low as like two bucks. I think I've seen it for two bucks. But if you have the money for it, definitely pick it up. It's totally worth your time. Totally. It's it's just so good, man. It's just so good. This game came out a long time ago, though. Like, it's been a while. It has been a few years, I think, now. I don't remember exactly what year it came out, but it's definitely been a while. Oh my god, I died at the end? Are you serious? Typical me. Typical me. God damn it. Oh, I just... Okay, I know I kind of lied. Uh, that bandage, it really bothers me when I don't get secrets, but... Although I did say I would get them in a secret... Uh, in a secret episode. In an a uh, episode dedicated to secrets. Whatever! I'll do what I want, okay? <laughs> Freaking... <laughs> Whatever. Alright, this should be the last level before the boss. For each world, there is a boss, and this time around, I be- What?! Wait, 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 there are a level- I don't know if you guys can notice, there are some levels that are not like- They don't have that shiny animation, and it's because it means you didn't A-plus the level. If you didn't A-plus the level, you only get like- Oh, you cleared it, but you don't get an A-plus rating, or an A rating. So you go back and you do it as fast as you can to try and get that rating and uh, once you get the A+, plus, you'll see you'll see exactly why you want to do that later on. I'll show you guys. Don't worry. I will show you not well, hope I will actually show you everything cuz I'm going to 100% this game. Or I'm going to try to Oh, okay. Uh wee. Okay, that's much faster. There you go. Oh, you're supposed to do it under four seconds, that's why. Probably took a little longer than that while I was talking. Whatever, it's- Wait, there's still one more I- Really? That wasn't an A+. plus. Okay, well, time to A+, plus this level. Because that's what I want to do. 100% completion, right? You gotta A+, plus everything. You gotta A- You gotta do it. You gotta do it. I guess it shows that games are tougher when you're drawing- When you're doing a let's play. You're trying to talk the same time as you play. You don't perform optimally as you usually would. Of course, you guys are probably thinking I'm making excuses or whatever. Anyway, let's let's shut up for a bit and pay attention to this animation. So he's pouring fuel, and he's about to light the forest on fire. No! What will all the animals do? And that's a huge chainsaw machine. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably make that same face if I were in his position. They'd be like, no, that's not cool. That would be detrimental to my health if I just got hit by that. Of course, it's a first boss. It's a really easy boss. You just gotta go as fast as you can. Make sure you don't die from the impending doom that is behind you. Uh, okay, cool. And then you gotta go here, and then all of the squirrels just run into the machine and die. The poor squirrels! Think of the squirrels! Why would you want to kill the squirrels? Now he's having a fit. A baby fit. Ha! It's funny because he's not even a baby yet. Oh no! He's leaving! We're gonna have to chase him. We're gonna have to chase that son of a bitch. And now, a moment of silence for the squirrels that have died today. There's one left, but he's so sad. Everyone is dead. What will he do? He's just gonna cry. It's so sad. Don't cry, squirrel. Ah, oh, well. Now he's dead with everyone, so he can reunite with everyone. And there you have it. That is the first world complete. The light world, bandages and warps. Like I said, I'm getting the bandages and the warps later on. But as you've noticed, there are the words dark world on the screen. And what does that imply? Well, let me show you, as soon as the game lets me. Of course, it brings me- Okay, so either I can advance to chapter 2, the hospital, or I go back to chapter, uh, chapter 1, and I show you the dark world, which I believe is with this button. So, the theme around this is that they make a dark version of every single world and every single level in it and it's supposed to be just a harder version of each level so 
you might look at the levels and they might look very familiar to you. They look ex like really near similar to what the first, sorry, not first world, the light world version is, but they just add things to make it a lot harder. So more saws, more things that can kill you, make the path a little harder to uh, get over or whatever, you know, so that it makes it harder for you to complete the level. Whatever, you know, anything to make it harder for you, which is really cool. I found that really cool. It's like, oh, you think you mastered this level? Try the Dark World version, you know? Let me see if you can do that. This is how we really intended it to be, you know? Make it super hard. And I, I find it super cool. Uh, I love this game to death, if it hasn't showed yet. I'm just gonna ex explicitly say it. I freaking love this game. Freaking, oh my god. <laughs> freaking love this game. I may not be the best at it, but holy shit, this game is freaking awesome. And I suggest you guys play it. And if you're not going to, well, at least I guess you can watch me complete this game to 100%. I'm going to suffer at the end. If you're looking for me to suffer at some point, Super Mario Maker style, it's going to happen. Very damn near the end of the series. Because the reason I have not completed this game yet is because it's so fucking damn hard at the end, I couldn't complete it. I actually couldn't. It was way too hard. Oh shit. That is not good. That is not good. I actually need to get rid of the blocks on top and try not to get rid of the blocks on the bottom over there. Otherwise, I'll have no leverage to get to the other side. Okay, there you go. Like that. Let's keep moving on. So yeah, less blocks to jump on, more saws, and I totally missed the shortcut, but... I'll, I'll deal with it. Whatever. Still got grade A+. Plus. I remember this one year. I think it was during Christmas? No, was it Halloween? I don't remember. It was like a little uh, challenge where it's... Oh, you get like... They like offered Steam coupons for specific achievements made in that game if you booted up the game again. And for Super Meat Boy that year, it was complete all levels in this one dark world in total amount uh, less than a certain number of seconds and when I looked at the number I was like that's not that easy to do it was actually kind of hard and it was really funny because I had to go back into every single level try to beat it at beat them as fast as I could and then see if that alone was was good enough to get me that achievement and you know what it wasn't it actually wasn't I was still missing a full like 15 seconds I had to lower my score. I didn't get an A+. Plus. Oh my god. I need to redo that level. Anyway. As I was saying, it wasn't enough. I still had to reduce my score by 15 seconds. And I had realized there was this one level. If you picked a... D yeah, there are other characters in the game with different abilities. Like double jump or whatever. There was this one level that I realized you can beat in like literally a quarter of the time if you chose a different character. And that kind of stuff is really cool because it entices you to find like secret paths and try to improve your time more and more and sometimes by a lot and that's why there's leaderboards right that's why there's fucking leaderboards with people with ridiculous times that I've never even thought of accomplishing but you know it's there it's there for the world to see it's there to show that you did it you know is that no there's still more I'm only on 17 wow I thought it was further than that oh my god the saws the saws are real the saws are real so yeah, that's pretty much- What the- I just jumped myself into the hole! Okay. Okay, into the saw. That wasn't- I'm much faster than I thought I was. Okay. Good! The Queener? Is this literally called the Queener? Sometimes I don't really understand the name of the levels, but... They are usually really funny. And fitting. Very fitting. And we should be on the last level of this dark world. Oh my god, what the fuck? I kind of expected it from the top, but I forgot it was from the bottom here. Well, you can't expect me to remember every single damn detail about this game. <laughs> I'd be playing it like every single weekend. I wanted to do that, you know? Just can't do that. Don't have the time and, you know, gotta check out other games too, right? So, Alright, A+. There's no boss for the Dark World, unfortunately, but, you know... Consider it uh, an amazing achievement for completing all 20 levels, a plusing every single level in the Dark World, you know? That's what I think. Oh my god, there's a secret here. If I can... There you... Oh god. Uh, can I just... I'm gonna restart. 
Sometimes just not worth it. Just fucking restart from the beginning. All right. Oh, what? I didn't want. What is wrong with you, Thumb? I didn't want to press that jump button. I jumped myself right face first, head first into a saw. That is very smart. There you go. A plus. Much shorter this time. Much shorter. Whew. Okay, so that pretty much covers it up for the chapter one. All levels for the light world and the dark one have been completed. So, we are going to tackle the second chapter now. Which, whoops, I didn't want to exit the game. Well, I mean, kind of, but not really. So yeah, enter chapter two, the hospital, which is really freaky. There's a lot of needles and yeah, it, 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 things start getting darker. Anyway. That is Super Meat Boy. Hope that you enjoy what you're seeing here because I freaking love this game and I want to share my love for this game by playing it through and through to 100% this time. So, if you want to see the rest of this series and you like what you saw, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button just below the video. And don't forget to give this video a share for the world to see. But, until my next video, my name is Absolute Zero and always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone. Are you serious? You're fucking bouncing around and shooting me into the pit randomly. Oh my god, I'm not in this place right now. What the fuck, Pete? Oh, I get it now. Three out of four because the fourth one doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to die. 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 Okay, I'm going